this tomorrow. Signing on with Fury. All right, this is an interesting little game. Um, released in 2016, um, art direction and I think story was all done by um, um, the guy who made Afro Samurai, whose name escapes me. I just can't remember. Should have did some research. Simple Google search. I'm sorry before I started recording, but I wanted to get something done. Anyways, Fury is a really cool game. Um, it's sort of like this mix of like top-down hack and slash bullet hell thing. And it's a boss rush, and you just play as this white-haired gentleman as he tries to escape and escape his captors, and he just has to fight his way through. There's a bunch of different modes to this, but I figured I was just going to start a new game, and we'll go normal Fury difficulty, maybe I'll tackle Fury or a different time. But, alright, let's just jump in! This was a really cool game. Um, I got it free for PlayStation Plus when it first came out, and then... I didn't play it. Well, I tried, like, the first two bosses, and I was like, okay, this is cool, but I'll put it off to the side. Then one night I had some friends over, and we were just, uh, we're, we were bored, and one guy um, was writing up a story for Dungeons & Dragons, and he wasn't done yet, so I go, all right, I'll just put something on, and just we'll see where that goes. And, well, I just put this on, and next thing I know, we were almost finished the whole game before we decided it was 4 a.m. and we should get some sleep. Meanie. I hear thunder. Bitter better. Time to wake up. No. Five more minutes. I'm staying right here with you. Shake your head. Nod your head. It's time to go. This has a pretty ominous story. what they did to you. Oh, oh hang on. Yourself together. Get out of prison. It's a really nice looking game. It's got like this weird Kill look to it. The jailer. And just weird character designs. Fight for your freedom. No. Yeah, murder. It sets you free. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so we play as this stranger. It's a very, like, ominous and mysterious story. And, you know, you kind of... It's one of those things where there's a lot told to you and you kind of, like, got to piece it together. And, you know, there's some things that make you go, Oh, it all adds up now. But, you know, I'll just leave that for as we go. So right now we're just playing as this stranger and we are being held prisoner and we just got to get out. Try me. You listen to me, and you listen good. You'll never escape. Let's test that. I swear I'll put you right back in your cell. There's an easy way and a hard way. You choose. We'll take the easy way, because I have to go through you. Let's do this. All right. Now this is what we got. We can kind of zip around. Oop. Well, we can shoot. You can charge up. When you get... Oop, too soon. You got to time those flashes. If you ch do charge up like this Oop. there we go we're getting somewhere it's a little hard, hard to grasp at first but once you get it you get it you got your gun you got charge Oop. charge attacks this is the basic tutorial so you know it gets it more in depth as we go You got charge slash, and you can, you got a dash button, you can charge the dash up as well. 
while you're charging up, you can charge up both at the same time. So that leads to some fun situations. I actually thought I was the first one to figure that out. It was like, you can charge the slash attack and the dodge at the same time. And I, and I had one friend playing and it's like, did you know you could do this? Um, and then turns out it was actually in the tutorial in the, um, in the pause menu. It shows you that. All right, but we got this guy, basic. Oops, I'm not paying attention. It's been a while since I played this, so I'm a little rusty. But yeah, just like bullet hell style stuff and just slash away. Whoop. First guy's pretty easy. You knock down their health bar, then you get them in close quarters, then you knock down their other health bar. They got a bunch of, bo like, 10, 11 bosses? 12, technically. We'll get to that. There's one boss I haven't beat yet because he's DLC. But. So, yeah, you got a bunch of bosses. They all have different phases, a bunch of different attacks. And the bullet health can get really, really intense the farther you get. There we go. Perfect parry. Slash attack. If you parry, you can regenerate a little bit of health, which is really useful. Ah. So I'm on normal right now, and this guy's pretty easy, so... I think what I'm just gonna do is just gonna do a boss, and then that's where I'll put in my breaks. Oop. Boom! Oop. Just gotta keep parrying this guy. Bull! What? Oh, I thought I parried that in time. You shake that in order to break his grasp. Shoot his bolt. You can shoot certain types of bullets, and you can pick up the green stuff for help. Oop. There we go. Got him in the back. Watch out! I'm already doing this. Oh, I thought I could make it in time. I should have just dashed a bit for farther up. Ah. I'm trying to do tricky moves, and it's not really helping. Got you. There we go. Perfect parry. Watch out! Ah, shoot. Ah. Well, I still got the charge. There we go. Got that hit. If you can do that little charge... Well, if you can do that charge up... Well, I think I explained that already, actually. But you can increase your damage if you do it right. But if you get hit, you lose the buff. So if you can just nail a right good hit, you do a ton of damage. I've also got um, a limited amount of health bars, so you got to watch out for that, too. Some of these bosses get really insane. Oop, ah, shoot. You think you're than me. Yeah. Whoa. I don't even remember what that was. Whoop, ah. Dang it. Didn't aim. Oop. No way. No. A little rusty, and I'm trying to show off a little bit, so bear with me. There we go. Ah, 
dang it. There we go. He's down to those last bar. There is no way Usually when they get to the last bar, they enter their frenzy mode or whatever you want to call it, and this is where things start to get crazy. Kind of shows how cool the game looks, though. It's definitely got a style. And you can't destroy those orbs. You can't destroy those big red ones. But I think I got a good way of getting past them. If I don't charge up my charge too much. There we go. Annihilated. I'm gonna kill you. No, you're not. Dang it, didn't you? Oop. I don't think I even need to charge that, but I want to. Boom! Final hit. Got him. He was easy, so I shouldn't get too cocky. I got nothing to add to this. <laughs> He's so cool. He didn't tell you to get up. You will be broken. You will go back to yourself. You're not going to be the one to bring me to it. What a thrill! Not your first time, right? Anyway, the good news, we're one step closer to freedom. The bad news, there's more out there waiting for us. But don't worry, I know them. I can help. Believe me, what's waiting at the end of all this is so worth the trouble. You and me, we're in the same boat now. Now let's get the hell out of here. Whatever you say, ominous rabbit man. <laughs> Way down there lies a free world. Then you got a bunch of walking world sections. Of you can just press a button and then just walk, auto walk. There's no live. nothing to gain from exploring. And you know what? We're going to get there. And through the door, onto the next area. And then the next area is the next boss and etc. This is pretty much the loop of the game, but we'll get to that. Alright, so yeah, that was Fury. That was... I can't remember what that first boss is called. Each boss is like this cool little, like, two-letter, one-word name. But I can't remember what it is. Alright, well, that's that. I'm gonna put a break in here, and then next time we will fight the next boss named The Strap. So, until next time, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off.